So yesterday's video, uh, I didn't I didn't start making that knife till like 1.30 in the morning. And it was like three o'clock by the time I was done editing the video. So that was just kind of nuts. So we've got a much better start on it today. And uh, today is Tanto Tuesday. Okay, so before I get started, uh, just let me say this is gonna be a Tanto styled knife. I, I don't want anybody crying and be like, that's not a real Tanto. Yeah, I know this is not a traditional Japanese Tanto, but it's a Tanto styled blade. Okay. Okay, so I was gonna draw a, a full scale Tanto knife, but I, um, with a big, big Tanto, I want a little more time with it and I wanna be able to like, ah, just get right. So I think I'm going to do a little mini Tanto neck knife for today. This little guy, I, I drew this one up, well, November 17th, 2006. A little neck knife that's a Tanto. I think it'd be all right. That might be too small. <laughs> yeah, that that's too tiny. I I can't make a knife that small. Not for this video, anyways. I mean, it, uh, cute, kind of cute. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna do something else. Okay, back to the drawing board. Let's see. Let's see. What can we do for a tanto? This won't fit on inch and a quarter material. We're gonna have to get rid of this. Just, just how it is. Oh no. Oh no. Looks like we're not having that. Oh well. Okay, let's do this one. That'll work. Okay, now we're gonna mark our center grind line, where we're gonna grind to, just because that's what we do. Put a little ink down, so these lines show up real good. Scratch that itch. So we've got our grind done, put the tips on there, got our holes marked out. Now we're just gonna pop them with the center punch and then drill them out. for this knife what I'm thinking we'll do is white G10 liner 
and some carbon fiber black G10 layered. I think that should look pretty cool. Programming is supported by the Fargo Moorhead Convention and Visitors Bureau, encouraging business professionals and planners to host their next meeting in Fargo Moorhead. More details and information available online at FargoMoorhead.org. That's the problem with streaming radio. There's always these stupid ads that interrupt an awesome dancing song. So we've got our scales cleaned up, ready to uh, drill the holes once the, the heat treating's all done. And uh, I think this will be pretty cool. Uh, carbon fiber G10 lined. I'm kind of nervous on how I'm going. You know, when you're grinding down your pins, I'm using metal pins, stainless pins for this knife. And it's always kind of a pain because you want to get the pin totally ground down. But it's such a nice surface finish on there, you don't really want to wreck it. Like, that is so cool. But it's not It's not going to stay like that. I'm, I'm going to end up having to like grind it down and then come on camera. Um, I'm going to do very minimal texturing on this knife, I think. Uh, very simplistic, just kind of put a nice curve on the scales. I'm not going to get crazy with any texturing or anything like that. I want a really clean, simple, like a classy looking knife. Alright, so we got uh, all the squeeze out cleaned up really well. I'll let this dry. Big thing, always check to make sure you get all that squeeze out cleaned up really well because that's such a pain afterwards, especially with the finished blade. It's just nice to get that all wiped up. I just wipe it down with lacquer thinner. Works slick as a whistle. It is 10.30 at night, and uh, I'm tired, but I got this knife done. Now, I haven't sharpened it yet. I'm, I'm just not going to bother with that. I'm too tired to try sharpening a knife. I'll probably just wreck it, but um, finished it up on the polisher, and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Uh, I'll do some close-up shots or whatever in a moment, but I really like the, uh, the G10. This stuff is really cool to work with, but man, is it disgusting, all the debris. Like That's nasty crap that floats around the shop. But uh, it's kind of interesting stuff. I'm really happy with the way the grinds turned out on this blade. Um, let me see if I can get a bit of a close up here. I like that G10, I think that's pretty slick. Uh, this was probably one of the better knives I've ever ground before, so that's always nice when that happens. Nice thick spine on there. Interesting sweep to it. Um, but yeah, I'll put an edge on this soon, and then, uh, I don't know what I'll do with it, we'll see. 
But there you go. D number two is in the books. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. But wait, there's more. More, you say? How could there be more? It's a knife a day. I, this one did not turn out. This was more just a concept idea just to see how it might work. I, I wrecked the grind on this side. It's a pretty ugly looking grind there, but I did this one in the uh, moon glow or day glow, whatever that glow in the dark. This is ice blue, so this will actually glow in the dark. And uh, just kind of did it as a bit of a concept to see, I don't know, I, I kind of like it. You know, it's a little, if you made a little neck carry sheath, although a Kydex sheath might not have much retention here because there's nothing for it to grab onto, but um, this was more just a shot in the dark, something to do for kicks while I was in between different stages of the big knife. So, Tonto Tuesday, double time. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. I'm not going to set up the slider. You can get an idea. It's, it's a pretty clean knife. I like it. Okay, let's see if this thing really does glow in the dark. Hey, <laughs> that is cool. That is pretty cool. I can see it. It's a knife you can't lose in the dark. Ready for the overexposure? Boom! There it is. So that's this little thing. Let me know what you think of this little guy. I'm kind of curious. Um, it's it's pretty cute actually. It, I don't know. It's kind of cool. Uh, 3 sixteenths thick, 01 tool steel. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.